All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so today we are talking about uh, sex link traits. Um, go ahead, write down your target. This, uh, if you are 2013, uh, you're going to be doing this on page 139. Uh, you can do some of your practice plant squares on 138 if you like. Uh, so today you're going to learn about how to predict the inheritance patterns of sex link genes. Go ahead and set your Cornell notes up, and you can push pause if you need time to do that. And if not, let's go ahead and move forward. All right, so what number do you see? Give you a second. You're probably thinking, man, this is pretty obvious, uh, but there's a lot of people who can't see this if they are red, green, colored, blind. This is a uh, color palette to test that. You probably see number 12 right here. However, uh, 8 to 12 percent of males of European descent can't see the number 12 there and only 1 percent of females can't of the European descent. So why the difference? I mean it's almost 10 times different, 10 times more males can't see it. Why is there such a difference? The reason is that that colorblindness trait is found and it's a sex link trait. Um, sex link traits are going to be genes that are carried on the sex chromosomes. You see here we have an X chromosome and here a Y chromosome. And if you take a look at it, that Y chromosome is so much smaller. It's missing so much information. So really it just doesn't have that information that talks about um, the color blindness. So you probably know this, but here you see it again, I'm sure. Uh, we have the genotype for females is XX, and the genotype for males is XY. You guys have worked with karyotypes before, we've talked about this before, but we have XY for males, so this right over here, this is a male individual. What is the probability of having a girl? Go ahead and take time to do this Punnett square. Push pause. All right. Hopefully you've worked it out. You've probably got something like this. X, 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 Y, and X, Y. So we are looking for girls, that's close to pink, so girls are going to be the XX. So you would have two out of four or one-fourth. Nope, that's wrong. One half, sorry. One half. So you have a 50% chance that you'd have a girl or a 50% chance you'd have a boy. You probably already knew that, but this is showing you graphically and genetically why it's doing that. Since only men inherit Y chromosomes, they are the only ones to inherit Y linked traits. So again, we'll take a look at our chromosome, take a look at how much more information all of this has compared to this little bit here. So, you know, here, you're looking at like this little bit right there, right? You're missing, all of this stuff is missing. All right, so you're missing a lot of genes. That information just isn't there. Men and women can get the X link trait since both inherit X chromosomes. So if you are a man, you are going to get this. If you're a woman, you're going to get this. You'll just get two copies of that. So some examples of the X link traits are male pattern baldness, like cool George Costanza right here. Uh, you could get red, green, colored blindness. This is an excellent trait. You could get hemophilia. We'll talk a little bit about hemophilia. We'll do some practice with hemophilia. Hemophilia is a sex link trait, an excellent trait, and what it does is it doesn't allow your blood to clot. Uh, that means you can have some serious pretty injuries just from minor injuries. Your blood doesn't clot, you can get horrible internal bleeding. You can bleed out. 
So it's very, very bad. Now we have ways of dealing with it. They actually uh, will replace bone marrow because bone marrow is what creates uh, red blood cells and white blood cells. And you will create new bone marrow, new blood cells through your bone marrow. And slowly you'll replace your blood. Uh, however, it's a very expensive and painful procedure, but it can be done and it would save your life if you have that. Here we see the royal disease, which is hemophilia. And if you look at all the completely red boxes, are they male or female? They're male. And that is because it's an X-linked trait. Many people in class ask me, why? If it's X-linked and XX makes a girl, why is it only that guys are getting it? All right? This right here means a carrier. These guys, these ladies, I should say, they have the gene, but they're heterozygous. They carry it. They don't show the hemophilia. They're not affected by the hemophilia, but they carry that gene. And if you notice, these carriers, their sons, often have hemophilia, all right? So they carry the gene. Their daughters don't seem to get it. So how do we predict these traits? How do we predict these sex and traits? Of course, we're going to use our favorite thing, our Punnett square. Let's talk about hemophilia, how it's transferred. Hemophilia is a sex-linked recessive trait. So in order to have hemophilia, you have to have two little b's if you're a female. If you are x big b, x little b, you have this dominant characteristic right there, so you are not going to have hemophilia. You're going to be regular or normal blood type. Right? Again, the X's right here, these designate that the chromosomes you get for determining sex. So this is a female. Here we have X and a Y, so this is a male. Notice though, this male is going to be hemophiliac right here because he has the little b. And there's no big B to back it up, so he's going to show it. So here we are going to do a cross to kind of show you what would happen. Uh, we have an unaffected male, and he's going to mate with a carrier female. So she's a carrier. She doesn't show the hemophilia. She doesn't have the hemophilic phenotype because she has a big B. She's normal but she does carry the hemophilic allele. So take a look at this. Do you think she's going to have any hemophilic kids? So we'll do this, X, X, big B, big B. Is this hemophilic? No, because it has big Bs. X, Y, big B. Is this hemophilic? No, he is not hemophilic because he has a big B. How about this one? X, big B, X, little b. Is she hemophilic? No, again, she has a big B. It's dominant trait. X, little b, Y. Is she he hemophilic? Is he hemophilic? I can't say hemophilic. Is he hemophilic? No. Uh, only has one B. So you think, oh, they only have one B? Then no. But it is just the big B by itself. There's nothing here to kind of protect it. So just one little B. It's the only B that it has. So yes, he is going to be hemophilic. Hemophilic. Right? Because it has this little b right here and nothing else. These guys are all normal. So let's do some crosses. Can you get a hemophilic female? So here we go. Let's get the black. Can I get a hemophilic female? Well, let's do this one. If we do X, big B, Y, 
and x, big B, x, little b. Go ahead and take time to fill that out. See if we can get a hemophilic female this way. Push pause. Try it out yourself. Just don't wait for me to do it. All right, you should have gotten something like this. X, big B, big B, big X, Y, big B, X, X, little B, big B. Sorry, that's, you know, normally capitalized goes first, but whatever. And X, little B, Y. So here, we do not have, we have, or we have a, a male, but we don't have any females that are hemophilic. Because again, they're protected because they can have, they need two alleles. Let's do it a little different way. Can we get a hemophilic female if we do this? So can we get a hemophilic if we have a cross between a hemophilic male and a hemophilic carrier, a carrier female? So she doesn't have hemophilia, but she's a carrier. Can we get a hemophilic female this way? Here, we actually get a hemophilic female. Right. Now, a few kids asked me in class today, how come we don't see any of those hemophilic females in this picture? Think about that for a second. This is all taking place in the 17 and 1800s. Why wouldn't you be able to have that happen? Well, the reason is, if you are a hemophilic male, you're probably going to die at an early age. That's sad, but it's true. If you're in the 17 and 1800s, they don't have the advanced medicine we have now, they're probably going to die before they have a chance to have children. So if you don't have sex, then you can't have children and you can't pass on your genes. So here's a question. Uh, I said baldness works just like uh, color blindness or hemophilia. If a boy's dad has a male pattern baldness, is it likely he will too? So here we have Homer Simpson, clearly bald. Is he going to is he going to pass on his genes to Bart? Does Bart have to worry about being bald because his dad is bald? Think about that for a second. And do a little cross if you want. Alright, well the answer is it really has nothing to do with dad. So take a look at this. If we have, I'll choose black, put in square, and let's use B for being bald because baldness is recessive. If dad is x little b y, and Marge right here is X big B, X big B. We're just worried about Y right here because we're talking about boys. X, Y, X, Y, big B, big B. Bart has no chance of being bald. Even though his dad is bald, Bart has no chance of being bald if he, because uh, his, if his mom is homozygous dominant. So again, it has nothing to do with dad. Now, Bart could be bald if mom is heterozygous. So if Marge is heterozygous, he could be bald. It'd be a 50% chance. But again, it has nothing at all to do with Homer's genes because Homer is just passing on the Y. So if your dad is colorblind, is it likely you will be too? 
Well, the answer is, if you're worried about that, you should look at your mother's brother. If your mom doesn't have any brothers, well, then you really don't know. If, you, if your mom's brother is bald, then that just means you know the gene is in there and there's a risk of you getting, but you still don't know if she has it. And if your mom has no brothers, well, I don't know what to tell you. You could look at your grandma's brothers, but still, that's even less uh, helpful. All right. So go ahead, take your time to uh, write some summaries and some questions. I hope that was helpful, and I will see you soon. As soon as I figure out how to turn this off, I think it was Control F9. Alt F9, where is it? Mm, Alt F10, Control F10, Control F8.